Okay, brothers and sisters, you're going to love this one. <laughs> Remember the other day I said something uh, I was telling you about how I got those uh, the warnings, uh, two uh, guideline strike. Well, I took down two videos. And somebody else got the very same letter that very same day. I imagine several went out because they're really cracking down on us for whatever they want, basically. And I said, well, you know, if President Trump is going to make things great again, why doesn't he stop this censorship and, and put it back the way it was, you know, and it's getting worse. Well, listen, <laughs> then I got this Fox News alert. Okay, remember, it's Fox News, okay? <laughs> so, take it with a grain of salt. Here's, here's the title. Trump signs executive order to promote free speech on college campuses. And there's a picture here of him. I'll, I'll take a, let me, let me get a screenshot of this right now. I'll take a picture of him holding up the executive order, okay? Yeah. Okay. There. And I'll use that for the custom thumbnail. He's holding it up. Looks like a... I don't know. But anyway. All right. So, let's read a little bit of this. President Trump signs executive order protecting free speech. Oh, my goodness. I feel like we've just gone up on top of a mountain and there's a ton of pressure on my eardrums. President Trump on Thursday signed an executive order to promote free speech on college campuses by threatening colleges with the loss of federal research funding if they do not protect those rights. We're here to take historic action to defend American students and American values, Trump said. Surrounded by conservative student activists at the signing ceremony. They've been under siege. Well, how about that? Conservative under the guise of speech codes, safe spaces, and trigger warnings, these universities have tried to restrict free thought, impose total conformity, and shut down the voices of great young Americans like those here today, he said. Flashback. Conservative activist attacked on UC Berkeley campus during recruitment drive. A senior administration official said the order directs 12 grant-making agencies to use their authority in coordination with the White House Office of Management and Budget, OMB, to ensure institutions that receive federal research or education grants promote free speech and free inquiry. White House officials have said it will apply to more than $35 billion in grants. Public universities seeking funding would have to certify they comply with the First Amendment, which already applies to them. Private universities, which have more flexibility in limiting speech, would need to commit to their own institutional rules even as universities have received billions and billions of dollars from taxpayers, many have become increasingly hostile to free speech and the First Amendment, Trump said. Trump, on CPAC stage, 
with Berkeley assault victim promises executive order on campus free speech. And there's a video you can watch. So I'll put the link in because that first picture I took was a video and this is a video. Trump had announced that such an order was forthcoming at the Conservative Political Action Conference last month where he said the directive would require colleges and universities to support free speech in exchange for federal research dollars. Hmm. He brought on stage Hayden Williams, a conservative activist who was attacked while working a recruitment table on campus at the University of California, Berkeley. The video quickly went viral with conservatives citing it as further evidence of the stifling and sometimes violent atmosphere that conservatives face on campus. I do remember something about that. Opinion. Now here's another link. Opinion. Trump order protecting campus's free speech is right response to Berkeley assault. He took a punch for all of us, Trump said of Williams, and we would never allow that to happen. We could never allow that to happen. And here is, in closing with Hayden, here's the good news. He's going to be a wealthy young man. Hmm. If they want our dollars, and we give it to them by the billions. They've got to allow people like Hayden and many other great young people and old people to speak, Trump said. Free speech. If they don't, it will be costly. That will be signed soon. Okay, I'll let y'all read the rest. I'm out of breath. Okay. Now. How do we get him to do that for YouTube? What is your opinion? What do you think about that? Hmm. I'll let you go on that one. I'll talk to you later.